This is Austin, state capital and home to the University of Texas. It is also the home of these 12 students who have chosen to battle more than just academics this semester. They come from different walks of life. They have different hometowns, classes, and majors. But they must learn to work together and work against each other or they'll be voted out. Right now, they're meeting for the first time and being divided into two tribes, the Dust Devils and the Tumbleweeds. This is season two. Welcome to Survivor Texas Wild West. And in the end, only one will remain to claim the title of sole survivor. 63 days, 12 students, one survivor. We gotta be best friends. We gotta trust each other. Trust each other. Even if it's fake. Even if it's fake. We gotta look. We gotta look like we're above. My name's Anna. I'm an RTF major. I'm a freshman. I'm Brazilian, directioner, and a Swifty, and I'm ready for war. The games have started. The game started before you even realized. All right. Okay. Hey, my name is Justin Cabado. I am a fourth year neuroscience major. Uh, I have minors in sociology and health communication. And I am like a big time reality competition junkie. Like this is really my stuff. Like this is what I'm here to do. Um, I'm really like into like shows like Big Brother, The Challenge. Oh, I love The Challenge so much. Uh, Survivor. I just started watching Survivor during COVID. So I've seen all of the seasons during that time. So I'm really just excited to just get into this game. Look at me in my eyes. That's the only thing I have to do. That's all I can do. I can't do that again. Survivor UT. I'm really excited to just be a part of this experience. This is season two. So, you know, bigger and better than season one. No offense to them, but. I've been to one skate room and we did not skate. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got the brains, though. I got the brains, though. Don't worry. Right now, I know there's a lot of big personalities around me. And so I feel like if I keep myself under the radar, and just be as nice and not cause any problems for as long as I can, then I can stay in the game longer and then start to play. Hey, my name is Abhinav Rautaluri. I am a finance junior um, and I'm excited to be here. Uh, I think I can win. I have the ability to lie and cheat, I feel like, but I'm also a super loyal person. So you look forward to that. I was at the University of Maryland, which is where I'm a transfer from. I was gonna be on Survivor Maryland. Shout out Survivor Maryland. I've seen Total Drama Island though, so I'm not gonna trust anyone right away. Right now, there's two people that are sticking out to me the most. It's Anna and Daniel. Daniel, although he seems like a physical comp person, I know he has something going on in his head and he's probably planning a lot and he's very charismatic, so he's definitely gonna have everybody on his side. I, damn, I know, I'm not fat. <laughs> I've gotten that all for years in college, you're good. No, it's cool. You haven't been a frat at all? Nope. And he's also pretty good looking, so he's definitely going to have like the ladies on his side. Daniel, his name is. I was like, dude, I, I really hope I get him on my team. And I did, so thank God. Uh, film. 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 Psych. 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 Counting. Psych. Counting. You're a oh, Alright. And physics. Yeah. Oh, Alright, all right. All right. All right. big brains. What's up guys, my name is Shannon Sill, I'm a physics major. And I'm going to win with physics, all right? Physics is the pure science, and it'll, it's gonna get, give me the purest win. My game plan is going to be with physics, you know? Because there's going to be a lot of contact events here. With physics, I can calculate how to win the, those exactly. You know, just all forces, free body diagrams, you know, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. Shocking. So what do you think, what do you think like, the, the, tumble, the Wild West is gonna like, entail? Hello, my name is Cooper Brown. I am 18 years old, a freshman RTF major, and I'm gonna be the next survivor. I think there's gonna be like kind of like maybe like like a you know, like shooter, like a nerf, <laughs> like a nerf gun, like a nerf, like a nerf gun, like a nerf gun. Well, I'm like really excited because like I've always wanted to like be on Survivor. Like I applied for the real Survivor. So like this is like me trying to live out my fantasies, trying to see like can I do good, and if not, then I probably shouldn't have applied. <laughs> I think the game is going to be really fun. I'm going to try to be sneaky behind the scenes. Uh, try to, you know, cause some drama without anyone knowing. Wait, so is someone today going to get booted out? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 Sunday, Sunday. 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 I think we should, like, go, like, Sunday. 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 We should, we should okay. decide now. Yeah, I was like, so, like, decide now. So, like, it's not just a who we're voting out between us? Yeah, so, like, what? when it does um, happen, there won't be so much tension between How many times have you seen the show? We're like, Chinonzo, stop talking. Like, what? And then... Isha, I think she was like, bro, you're putting a target on yourself. And I was just like, 
We just met. Oh my god. Like, you know, if we just shoot someone now, there'll be less like <laughs> argument in the future once it's already settled. So. I think if they know I'm that they're gonna, gonna be voted out, out, they're gonna yeah. try to not get voted out. Well, well no, like, they'd be voted out next. Yeah, so we're all gonna try our best. So we'll be even can't. better. Yeah, right. 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 What? Yeah, yeah. Nonso, literally over there, he's those like, I think we should decide right now who we're voting out. Like, girl, we all we all looked at him like. Mm, Mm, I think you just painted yourself as the number one target. Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't. Easy for me. We lose. Thank God. Bye, Chinoso. Chinoso. You know, I think Cooper sticks up uh, pretty well. He gets along uh, with people pretty nicely. You know, I think that me and Cooper are going to stick it through through this, this whole thing. So, yeah. yeah. Tumbleweeds on three. One, two, three. Tumbleweeds! <laughs> You guys are going to be bank robbers in this challenge, as you might have guessed. Uh, your money bags are right behind you, um, but you guys are rival bank robbers. Uh, so there's not enough money to go around. You can see there's two money bags over there. One of them is the dollar bag and one of them is the penny bag. The dollar bag uh, is a lot heavier than the penny bag. Before each round starts, we're going to draw out of a boot uh, to see if the round is going to be a dollar round or a penny round. First team to five goes. The losing tribe will show up on Sunday and vote somebody else. Is it real money? What? Like, is it real money? Uh, I don't know. Just terrible. <laughs> it's all around. All right. You got it, Daniel. You got it. Come on, go. Thank you for coming away. Born for Dust Devils. On go. Three, two, one. Go! Go! Oh,
This, oh, yeah. <laughs> this next round is a tenny round. Isha for the tumbleweed. Katarina for the duck Go. go. On go. Three, two, one, go. Come on. I need each tribe to pick two guys to go in this challenge. Alright, guys, step forward and three, two, one. Yeah! Alright, I know three, three, I know both tribes want this one. Yeah, I'll take it. Three, two, one, go! Dust Devils, congratulations. That was a hard fought immunity. Extremely hard fought immunity. Wow. Um, you guys are safe. I will see you next week. <laughs> Tumbleweed, I'm so sorry. I'll see you guys on Sunday where somebody will become the first member of Bodeo Survivor UT Wild West. Yep. Oh, Dust Devils, or I have you a. Uh, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Your reward after your hard fought robbery. There you go. Hold on, hold on. Wait, don't open the right now. Can I? Oh, shit. We're all seeing this on Friday. What? We're all seeing this on Friday. Can we have Dust Devils, as the winning tribe, here you guys go, here's the idle clue. Oh, so Everybody reads it, then do what you will until next Thursday. Cooper and Daniel went so hard, and I there's nothing I can do but applaud them. My team went really hard. We worked hard. I think Cooper really pulled his weight like none other. Like I think he was MVP of this challenge. Daniel was awesome. Um, I, I think the whole team just really came together and did really well, except for me. What do you mean pull? Wait, 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 let him do it. Oh, wait, <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I got it, I got okay. it. Okay. I got a little loose. It was a fun one, actually. You know, we, t we lost, obviously, but, you know, 
I, I don't mind too much. Kind of being you know, the strongest losers. Not a bad spark to, spot to be in. On the last one, probably I probably would have enjoyed a little bit more of an assist from Cooper. Uh, kind of seemed like he was pushing me towards their flag a little bit, so that was a little odd. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Done. All right, jump in. Uh, you know, Cooper really stuck out to me, honestly. Like his grit. Like even when he, like he was like obviously like going to lose, like when he was like right there, he still like had that perseverance. He's definitely going to be a, a game changer in this season. Okay. Oh, jaw. No. Okay, it's mulch. But what no, else? Oh my god! Girl. Ah, look at this! Paint. Oh. Wait, are oh, you coming on your face? face? The no. <laughs> Y'all better run. You guys know what it was? Mulch at you. <laughs> I thought I'd feel more disappointed, honestly, but considering that I think I'm, I'm personally in a good spot, um, since I think I have two different alliances, <laughs> um, it was Daniel and Sky and I, and we three came up with the idea of that we like three of us formed an alliance, and then the second alliance <laughs> was with um, Marianne and Cooper. Okay, actually, uh, since it's confessional, I have a confession to make. So I actually do know Cooper, and um, we found out this morning in class that we were both going to be here. So we're like, oh shoot, like, you're on Survivor? Like, I'm on Survivor. Like, we kind of were like, okay, like, let's look out for each other. So we were playing like, oh, what's your name again? Like, I asked, like, is it Anna with two N's, one N? Like, girl, I know all that stuff, but I'm just like trying to lie and make it look like I don't know her. And I hope she doesn't spill the beans on me, because then I'd be out. Stop, put it. Run, cameraman. Run, run, run. One person I want to look out for for the rest of this game is Orin. He is like a musical technician. He is a musical theater. He is a rock climbing instructor. Like, oh my gosh. He pulled out like a Swiss army knife and then like a little like headlamp out of nowhere. And I'm like, how do you keep that on you? We're going to have to dig something up. It's good, yeah. Uh, uh, the, paper, the paper's right on time. Oh, okay. Secret advantage number one. Okay. okay, here, I'll read it in front of all of you. Congratulations, you have earned the mail of vote advantage. You may use this before any tribal that your tribe is not attending to cast one vote for any player attending this tribal council. This advantage can be played until the creation. Uh, no, explain it again, so I didn't get it. We get to win. choose one vote for their tribe. Oh, to get someone else? Yeah. Daniel. Right? Have... So after we won the challenge, we got our clue for the hidden immunity idol, and we all went to go look for it. This clue is throwing me for a loop. I literally have no idea what this could mean. Can't believe you don't know. Uh -oh. I need to find this hidden immunity idol because if I don't find it and someone else on our team finds it, I I don't think I'm gonna be good. So yeah. Me, Justin, and I forgot the other dude's name, the one from Frisco. We were saying how we don't trust um, some of the other people in our group, especially because one of them, Tia in specific, um, was the one who grabbed the thing out of the boots and she didn't want to show us so we think she has one stuck up her ass to be honest so they Oren and Tia they're playing the game they're playing, the they're game. playing a they're game playing the and we just have to play harder we just have to play harder yeah. <laughs> I have some time in between classes so I'm looking for the hidden immunity idol I found this guy hey bud do you know, do you happen to know where the immunity idol is? Huh? Why not? Someone just saw me do that. Embarrassing. Hello. Okay, hey, we're gonna discuss post game after our first loss. We're like, we said like, we're good. Man. We're kind of tight at this point. T tough pick to make early on. Yeah. But I think we're kind of leaning more towards Chinonso. 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 Yeah. Chinonso. And walking up and just being like, okay, I think we should figure out. That was wild. Yeah, challenge. that was wild. Yeah. Having so. even started the challenge, he's like, who's going home? I don't know if Chinonso is the best person to get out just yet, just because like 
if he goes, I like, who's the next person? I don't want it to be me. I'm setting myself up so that all across the board, I'm really good. I got something good with Daniel right now. I think Marianne and Isha, I could definitely like solidify like a kind of trio there. I kind of got good vibes from Marianne. I, just, like, I, think, I did too. I think Marianne's like, like a I, solid yeah. person to keep. Her, Isha, mm -hmm. um, Sky is a good person to have around. Yeah. So I'm kind of trying to like find a way to have like be in each person's core alliance without like them knowing. Daniel seems to be really close with Justin. Like he's, he got the good vibe. He said he got the bro thing. And I was like, yeah, you know what? We should keep that relationship close and i kind of like put myself in there like you me justin let's work together but justin and i kind of did that whole like bro down thing where we can kind of get him on our side I pretty easily i i really liked his vibe i, I liked so. his vibe I kicked too. him in the face so oh, yeah i <laughs> like, <laughs> saw that a little bit i want to stay on justin's good side because the first chance i get justin is going home because he is such a big threat like no way in hell i'm keeping justin in this game if i have the choice i gotta keep my ladies close to me gotta keep daniel close to me and mm. Maybe Chinonso too. Who knows? So Sky made a group chat with Isha and I. So we met, Isha and I met in person and then Sky was over FaceTime. I think we're all just voting for Chinonso. <laughs> but Sky mentioned that she, she might want to make some, some bigger moves. Uh, which kind of threw me off a little bit. Seems like a bit of a wild card. I'm not sure how much like logic she's putting behind her strategic votes. And then, yeah, I talked to Isha about it afterwards. And Isha was kind of on board with the same idea of voting, leaning towards voting for Sky. Um, I talked to Daniel by himself and he's thinking of flipping on the Alliance. So now, and I just talked to Cooper about it. And I think Coop and I, Cooper and I are now in the middle of two Alliances. So we're trying to decide who we should pick. Yeah, I'm okay. so nervous. Yeah, have you talked to anyone? No, like literally no. Like you're the when you reach out to me, I was like, oh my god, like I was like <laughs> maybe like oh, was I supposed to be reaching out to people too. I'm already like in line with Cooper, and they don't know that, so it kind of helps with having him on my side. In our group, I kind of like Cooper more, but also Cooper could be a threat because I feel like everyone could like him. I think Daniel and I have the most um, intelligence about about it, which is why I'm a little afraid of Daniel. Daniel right now, I think Daniel would switch on me in an instant. Yeah, I want to play with people who like actually want to play. Right. So like, yeah, yeah, and I got that vibe from you. Like, oh. we're gonna make it to the end, right? What? We're gonna make it to the end, like yeah, us too. Yeah, I okay, guess. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, realistically, I yeah, I want to make it to the end with somebody that actually knows what they're doing, so it's fun. But you know, sometimes the people who have like no idea what's going on make it to the end because it's just like, oh, oh like let's just bring them along because they don't know what's happening, and then they end up having yeah. a chance at winning. So my plan for tonight is simply to not get voted out. If if I do get voted out. My team will lose, so that's my prediction for this season. I made it with physics, so. I'm pretty sure. I don't think anyone would like do something drastic right away. I'm, I'm confident. Yeah, I know it's bad to say you're confident because they always go home when they say they're confident. If you're 100% sure, you're out. <laughs> All right, Tumbleweeds, welcome to your first Tribal Council. How did you guys feel after that first challenge? The day after, physically and, and emotionally? I was sore. My knee hurt, but I'm good now. Just your knee? Yeah, like when I squat, but now my squats are good. Actually, I thought we got closer. Yeah. Even though we lost. It was a good bonding True. challenge. I think we're like closer than the other tribe is closer to that, yeah. Like we lost the battle, but we were like, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they would say they won the battle, but they'll win the war? Or uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> they, they did pretty good. They did pretty good in that battle. They did a good job. You guys were winning that challenge 2-0 originally. Yeah. Do you think anything changed, or or what? I think that, at least for me, we got the two I think we kind of had some mismatches on that one. Not to like talk bad on anybody, but like I think I went up against like the easiest opponent that I could have on their side. Yeah, I think ideally I would have gone up against like Avanov. So I was like, how can I like tackle them at, in any way just to like help Daniel out? 
like I was sitting on Justin, like pushing my butt in his face and ripping his fingers off the bag. Like I, w I was using my sweaty fingers to dig under his so they would slip off. And then like, I wasn't kick. Oh, okay, I, I might have kicked a couple times, but like it was like it was like fight or flight, you know. Like I had to just try my best, and I wasn't trying to play dirty. I just like it. Just like there's they're heavy and they're on top of me. Like I got I got to give what I got, you know. Did anyone on the other tribe stick out to you guys? I've, I've been on there. Yeah, like, he's strong. He, he can be a wrestler, <laughs> you know, that helps a lot in these physical competitions. So, yeah, definitely. I think everyone fought, though. Like, ours and theirs. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people did really good. Some people, like, some people was kind of like a really quick challenge. And then there were some dogs, like Cooper, that just, like, fought out hard. <laughs> the other team got a clue to the immunity idol. Have you guys heard anything about that from them? I haven't heard anything from any of them. I haven't either. They seem to be keeping it quiet. Perhaps I haven't figured it out at all. When they opened it, they were like, oh, I know it. So like... Really? Yeah, like, Warren was like, oh, I know it. He said that to make us, like, confused and scared that it was actually... Maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Is there anything that you think your tribe uh, can beat the other tribe at just from a first glance? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Except besides for, like, physical contact. <laughs> I think more like puzzle solving challenges when you make that up. You have to test the majors. You have to have like a science, I think, right? Yeah, so I feel like in those ones we can definitely have a good shot at how many. Well, we've already seen Cooper scrappy, so when, <laughs> when he wants to, he will, you know? And Daniel, he's obviously very physical and yeah. In our friendship, you know, there's an ancient yeah. Hindu yeah. proverb, friendship is magic. I think that <laughs> we can definitely learn that as well. We got some magic. We got some magic. <laughs> well, with that, I would say it is time to vote. Uh, Chinoso, you'll go up first. All right. Sorry, Marion, but if you didn't publish your show up here today, you might as well just get voted off. Hopefully you're leaving us some magic behind, my guy. Sorry. Actually, no, not sorry. Bye-bye. All right, I'll go tally the votes. Okay, if you have a hidden immunity idol or a secret advantage and you want to play it, now is the last time to do so. All right, I'll read the votes. Chinonso, that's one vote, Chinonso. Marianne, that's one vote, Chinonso, one vote, Marianne. Chinonso. That's two votes, Chinonso. One vote, Marianne. Chinonso. That's three votes, Chinonso. One vote, Marianne. The first person voted out of Survivor UT Wild West, Chinonso. Please bring me your torch. Chinonso, the tribe has spoken. We're all about to talk about tribal unity. You guys showed it. Let's see if you can show it next week. The fact that like all of them chose my name, statistically speaking, that's very unlikely. You know, so they definitely like colluded outside of the I guess, physical game behind my back. I should have watched for that actually. I guess they didn't really appreciate how much physics can help you win, you know, in the battle. So. But we'll, we'll see that all happen in the future. Till not, til next time, guys. Signing off.